What's up, Dar Sizzle Nation, and welcome to Dar Sizzle Offshore. In today's sunny Florida adventure, Darcy and Brian go inshore fishing for snook, look downs, and all sorts of great fish. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because they're going to reveal some top secrets that other YouTubers are not sharing with you. Let's get right to the action with our star, Dar Sizzle. What's up, guys? Dar Sizzle here today. Today we are inshore saltwater fishing on our flats boat. I've been throwing around this little artificial lure. In the area that we're fishing right now, I have an opportunity to catch a lot of things. Jack crevals, tarpon, snapper, sheep's head, moonfish. There's just a lot of variety in this area. And I'm just gonna keep casting around, see what I can catch this morning. But I also wanna apologize for the wind in this video. You might be able to hear it, but it's blowing over 20 knots. But we gotta come out here and we gotta catch fish. That's not gonna stop us. Don't forget about me, Dar Sizzle. The new channel, Brian here. And Dar Sizzle just advised me of an issue. Now, I used to always say I was her boyfriend. And then everybody yelled at us all the time about, we know you're her boyfriend, stop saying it. And then I've been saying that we fish together. We let everyone know that we are a fishing couple. And now there's a million comments about that. So listen, we've been living together for seven years. I've been blessed with her presence, her boyfriend, girlfriend. And we have an awesome fishing channel. Yeah. All right. And just because the way you said it, it doesn't mean anything, guys. Relax, relax. She, she can't get rid of me, I'm like glue. So I'm like white right on rice. But anyway, what I came here to say is, we just got back from New York. It was a fabulous show. Right, Dar Sizzle? Yeah, it was awesome. We met a ton of kids, and very importantly, we met a lot of our awesome Patreon supporters. Yes. This channel runs mostly on Patreons to support us, uh, support Darcy and the fishing. And we met Peter Hines from New Hampshire, Richard Seahag, is that how I pronounce his last yes. name, I hope? Good. Uh, from Montauk, we got hung out of him for a long time. Yeah. And even some new fellas, uh, William Hammond. Yep. And we just had a great time and a bunch of uh, folks and kids. So thank you guys so much for coming down. If you guys are interested in hearing about Patreon, it's patreon.com uh, forward slash the Super Love Check it out. But uh, we're, we're going to get our little star here to catch us a fish. Yes. Come on. I've been trying. <laughs> not giving up. All right, let's catch him up, Sizzle. This is when you can't give up on days like this. We're not giving up. We just got out here. You got to keep trying. Tough full moon bite today, guys. Literally, this is my first fish of the day, and he just swallowed that. Woo! He just inhaled that lure. Woo! Chill out, buddy. All right, let me get take care of the snook real quick. Get him out. Released. But tough bite. Just dealing with tough conditions, but we're not giving up. It's late in the afternoon now, and we decided to switch up our tactics and troll, and this guy just crushed my favorite Yazuri 3DB minnow. He inhaled that thing. There we go, popped it. All right, chill out. This is a very feisty snook. He didn't put up a very, he didn't fight very hard. He brought him right to the boat, small little guy. But he just choked that lure, it was down his throat. So, but nice to see that he's very healthy and very, very frisky, he wants to get back in the water. But um, we are just fishing through the tide seeing what happens and I'm glad to finally break off the skunk today and get a snook in the boat. First and only fish so far going home. All right, grow big. Send the big ones my way. You're free. You're free. Snooky, you're free. Swim. There you go. <laughs> that was a really weird release. That fish is totally fine. But let's go get some more. So we've been out here so long, we had to go get lunch because I was starving. Or dinner. Well, it's actually dinner. It's like five. It's actually like breakfast, lunch, and dinner because we're both hangry and catching not a lot. <laughs> I'm not hangry. I'm on a diet. <laughs> but quesadilla and conch fritters. Bought it just from a local restaurant in the area. And it's nice to just pull up by boat and grab your food and then head out. So we're actually hiding from the wind right now too. So it's nice and calm and like in a relaxing area. But hopefully we can turn our luck around today. Yeah. Just for the record, our favorite restaurant in the area in Boyden Lantana on the water is Key Lime House. Darcy didn't want me to mention it, but we did get this food from Two Georges. 
which in my opinion has the best Kong fritters around, but the rest of the food, we like Key Lime House better. And the atmosphere, Key Lime House has that big thing. Key Lime House is our favorite. Sorry, Two Georges. So that's why he got Two Georges, because he wanted Kong fritters, I guess. But yeah, I'm just having a quesadilla, and this will probably end up being my dinner as well, but we've decided to push through this rough conditions and continue to fish into the next tide and uh, that's what we're doing. So while we're waiting for that tide to switch, we're gonna finish our food and then get back to work. The nice one. <laughs> All right, moonfish, also known as a look down in the boat. This is average sized moonfish, I would say. But that makes me get hopeful. He won't stop talking. That makes me get hopeful that maybe the uh, the afternoon bite is turning on here, and these guys obviously feed on a full moon in the dock lights and stuff. So that's a good sign. Like I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this out, get rid of them, and see if we can catch some bigger ones. Get some more fish. Shush up. Let me show you guys what I'm using here real quick. Starting with the lure that I just caught that fish on is this tiny little artificial bait right here, little three incher. I've caught everything on this bait, tarpon, snook, jack crevals, moonfish, you name it, I've caught it, even sheep's head. And this lure and my favorite lures you can find located in my Amazon store down in the description below. This is tied on with a, actually with a, uh, with a uh, loop knot. And then I've got 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. That switches depending on the water clarity and the fish you're targeting and good stuff like that. I would probably recommend 40 pound. And my leader's probably three to four foot long. And then I just have it tied on with a uni to uni to my main line, which is braid. And I am using tough line braid, 30 pound. And that is spooled onto my beautiful Stella 6000. And then I have the Stella paired with my rod, which is a Shimano Travala snook rod, your common snook rod. And this is actually my favorite setup for inshore fishing. This is the one that I'm using majority of the time. We got home so late from our fishing trip that it's actually the next day as we're wrapping up this video and talking to you guys currently. Great day on the water, although we, it was not as very successful as the fishing goes, but at the same time, it lunch just, was good. Yeah, lunch was good. I have an attitude of gratitude, and also the fact that like we've been fishing this area for a long time, and some days we absolutely kill it with all the lures that we're using, and then some days we're out there doing the same exact things, and we don't catch anything. You can't be upset about that. You just got to go back out and try again. You can't quit fishing. You can't. You got to have the patience for it. So yeah, you know, you, when you guys, you know, just like us and all YouTubers and, and fishing shows, Peter Miller, George Poveromo, all these guys. Well, what they don't tell you is that you know they film for a bunch of days and then they lump it all together for like right. it's like it's like a highlight reel a lot of these shows okay you know a lot of people aren't catching fish every single day especially you know if we're, if you're what they call a weekend warrior you know we're out there all the time and, and a lot of times we don't catch fish you know we try and show you what actually happens more so we don't really do that a whole highlight reel thing just like we're showing you today yeah but you know the, the secret to life is having an attitude of gratitude and you just you know you have to go out and enjoy the journey you know, judge your fishing trip by catching a new personal best every time or the biggest fish. I mean, you're going to be out for some sad, some sad days. You yeah. need to go out there and enjoy the journey. You know you're going to have a great time with your spouse and your family. Have some good food, maybe. Enjoy a nice land shark. Yes. And then you'll have an awesome time every time. That's the secret. Yes. So, you know, do that. And it's great to catch yes. fish. Great to catch the biggest fish. But, you know, don't make that your whole plan. Otherwise, you're going to be set up for some disappointment. Yeah, and I just wanted to finish up wrapping up by saying that, you know, um, a few years ago when I would go fishing and I'd catch no fish and have consider it a terrible day, that would like ruin my attitude for the rest of the week, and it would. I would I would be really upset about it and stuff. But nowadays I I look at it differently, and actually I was looking at um, an older Instagram post today of my that my dad posted about attitude, and it's actually really cool. But I read the whole thing, and then at the end it says something about like. Um, Life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. Very smart. So, um, Very smart. so I just got to keep that in mind for the future. And I'm going to be 
I have my birthday in a couple weeks, and I'm going to be the big 3-0. Her, so, her birthday uh, is the 3rd of March, and our yes. anniversary is the 5th. It'll be seven-year yes. anniversary. Yep, and my dad's birthday is coming up in a couple days, She's so cry. there's just a lot going on. But anyway, so guys, if you want to send a happy birthday card or anything, the PO box is in the description below. Or you don't have to, just comment below, happy birthday, I appreciate it. But uh, I'm going to stop talking now. We're going to wrap this up. So until our next fishing adventure, which is going to be great and a lot of fun and hopefully more fishing involved follow your dream and, and keep, keep on, on catching, catching. <laughs> <laughs> back home guys actually can we see this the next day yeah okay. get home so late all right and now all i gotta do it in today's video and in today's what what's up darcizzle nation and welcome to darcizzle offshore in today's action-packed <laughs>